Rice. أعوذ بالله سميع الله من السيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم مدام تشا كوميسوناس ليد كونسول أسيسان ليد كونسول فيوس أن لسناس ممبرس أوف دي بريس كود مونين أن ويلكم تو هذيس ديلي بروسيدين أوف دي كوميسون أوف إنكو إنتو لوكال غوفمنت كونسولس أن ريليتيد ماتاس Uh, without much ado, I have the honor to yield the floor to Madam Chair for our next item on our today's agenda. Madam Chair, over to you. I will call on Honorable Sila to lead us in Muslim prayers and Honorable Joyner to lead us in Christian prayers. Thank you, Madam. I will call on Honorable Sila to lead us in Muslim prayers and Honorable Joyner الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إلينا سرعات المسلمين سرعات الذين عنمت عليهم قير ما ذب عليهم ولا الضالين ورسان واسر مبارك وأمرهم تبلون وسيط البدن اللهم أفتح له بناء بالعلم أعوذ بالله من شر النساء ومن شر سياتين وسلطان الله برحمة الله مسلي على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أهلك والخاتم لما سبق نازل حق بحق والهادي إلى سرتك المستهيم ولا آله حق خدره ومهدار عظيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على نبيه الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون والسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, our Father, the one whom we adore, thank you for making it possible for us to be alive today. We cannot ask for anything more than the breath of life. We give you glory. We come against untimely death and accidents. We destroy every evil altar by fire. We command healing for those who are sick in body and mind and spirit. Forgive our misdeeds and bring us back to your throne of grace to serve you continually. Thank you for accepting us and may your grace continue to abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Witness, can you please place your stuff on the table? Okay, stand here and hold the mic for me. Witness, good morning and welcome to this commission of inquiry into local government councils and related matters. 
Thank you, sir. Yeah, you speak into the mic so that everyone can hear you. Okay. okay. What is your religion? Um, I'm a Muslim. In which language do you wish to make your testimony? In English, please. Do you wish to swear by the Holy Quran or make an affirmation? I wish to swear by the Holy Quran. Madam Chair, the witness wishes to swear by the Holy Quran. Can you hold the Holy Quran and repeat after me? I, I, Aliu Badu Jeng, Aliu Badu Jeng, do swear that, do swear that, I'll speak the truth, I'll speak the truth, the whole truth, the whole truth, and nothing, and nothing but the truth, but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. You may be kindly seated, Madam Chair. The witness is sworn. I have the honour to hand over the witness to you for us to proceed. Thank you. Good morning. You are welcome. Thank you. Council, can we proceed? Good morning, Honorable Commissioners. Good morning, uh, Mr. Jen. How are you? Good morning, Council. I'm fine. Please state your full name. Uh, my name is Ali Badu Jeng. Your address, please? Uh, Old Yundum. Old Yundum? Yes. Can you tell us what your educational background is? Okay, my educational background from my high school at Muslim High. I did um, diploma in IT at Humanity First. Then I did um, certificate in Microsoft Networking Essential in Lasting Solution, July 2012. And I did uh, certi certificate in Hardware Engineering, Core Hardware in Lasting Solution. And I'm currently pursuing a bachelor's degree in Computer Science. At the UTG. I am st struggling to hear you. I, I'm not sure whether it is, it is the same with the other, with, with other people, with, with, with the commissioners, but I am struggling to hear you very well. Okay. You are currently um, pursuing a bachelor's degree at the University of the Gambia for computer science. Which year? In my third year. Third year. Yes. Now, uh, you work for the Bitcoin Area Council? Yes. Please tell us about your employment with the Bitcoin Area Council. Uh, okay, um, I started working with GALGA, Gambia Association of Local Government Authorities. For when was this? This was in 2010. 2010? 2010, yes. Please proceed. Then um, from 2018, I started working with Birkama Area Council as an IT officer. 2018? Yes. Now, as an IT officer, how will you describe your your role or your, your functions in the area council? Well, um, our function ranges, uh, we have a lot of functions in the council. We install and configure computer software. We monitor and upgrade of, of um, system for the optimal performance. Jack, I, I see you are reading. Yes. Why are you reading? You should know these things. Yeah, I, I, I know them. But your function should be in your head. Yes, to be specific, I have to read the, because sometimes, we go out of our roles and responsibilities as IT. You what? Go out of our roles and responsibilities as IT. Yes. Sometimes um, a staff brought his mobile phone, I want you to do this. Sometimes a staff brought a laptop, I want you to do this. Sometimes, you Explain know. Explain it. Explain these things. They, yes. they should be on the top of your head. Those are outside my um, job responsibilities. That is why you don't need a laptop to say it. If you experience these things, you must say it. Okay. Do you understand that? Okay. So okay, we provide desktop support. Unless for no, let them just guide you. Unless there are uh, very specific informations that that information that you need um, the commission or the commissioners to hear, which you don't want to ha um, be wrong with, you you can just um, be very much straightforward in relation to your um, to your responsibilities. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you gave a statement to the investigators? Yes, I did. Do you recall this? It was on the, on the 26th of November 2023? Yes. We will show you a copy of your statement. Mm -hmm. And you please tell us whether that is a statement you gave to the investigators. Okay. <coughs> Is that the statement you gave to the investigators? Yes, it is. And you signed the statement? Yes, I did. 
we apply to tender the statement of the witness, Aliu Badu Jeng, in evidence as an exhibit. The witness statement dated the 26th of November 2023, signed by Aliu Badujang, is hereby admitted in evidence and marked as LGC slash ABJ slash BKAC slash 001. As the commission places. Now, please proceed with um, your narration as to your, your job functions mm -hmm. or descriptions. Okay. Um, like I was explained earlier, we provide desktop support to staff. Um, we maintain the, um, the database of council, and then we help to keep records digitally for the council. And we also help installing um, antiviruses in uh, laptops and computers within the council, and any other IT-related jobs within the council. Do you have a complete staff in your, in your unit or department? How many of you are um, in, in, in the IT unit? There are two of us. And the other person is? It's the senior IT officer, and I'm the IT officer. That is Bakari Sidi? Yes. Where is Mr. Sidi currently? He's at Birkama Area Council. He's in town? Yes. Very well. Now, um, do you have your employment letter with you? And only in soft copy. How, how were you employed? I was transferred from Galga to Birkama Area Council. I don't understand because Galga, um, Galga seems to be an association. Galga, yes, it's an association of local government authorities. Yes. So, yes. is that normal to, to, to be transferred from, from Galga to the area councils? Yes, I guess Galga, their main function is to give uh, uh, support to councils, to add the capacity of councils. So, in my case, they saw that my capacity was needed in Birkama Area Council, then I was transferred from Galga to Birkama Area Council. So, you, you never applied for the job? No. You never sat in any interview? Uh, no. It so was te it tell it us how you were transferred, the process that, 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 that was involved. Well, the process that was involved, to my knowledge, is um, council wrote to Galga that they need someone of my qualifications. Of your qualification? Yes. What was, what was your qualification at the time? At the time, I had all the qualifications except I was not enrolled to the university. Okay. And then that was how you were tra transferred yes. to... Yes, then Galga identified me as the only staff who has those qualifications by then in Galga to council. So to was there a transfer letter that you were given or, or, or were you only given an appointment letter? I was given an appointment letter and a confirmation letter. At the same time? No, no, no. The appointment letter was forced. And then when, the were, you, when were you confirmed? Uh, I was confirmed in 2018, I guess. It is the same year. Please provide... Um, to us the, your, your appointment letter and your confirmation letter as well. Okay, I will. You understand that? Yes. Now, in your, for, in your role as the IT officer mm -hmm. in Birkama Area Council, Yes. what is your relationship with the revenue collectors? Well, the revenue collectors, um, we were using a digital system. When was this? This was from 2020 to 2023. May. 2020? Yes. Please proceed. To 2023 May. Yes. 31st of May. Because I've seen in your statement, mm -hmm. you wrote on, on the second page that council has been using the POS device from 2021. Yes, yes. Sorry, that's my so mistake. So, what is the correct position? Is it 2020 or 2021? Sorry, it's 2021. My mistake. 2021? Yes. But in the evidence we have gathered from the revenue collectors mm -hmm. is that the the players machines yes. were introduced in 2020. In 2020. Yes. Yes. Then maybe my memory does not serve me right. I'll have to check on the records to yes, see uh, the exact Mr. date. Jeng, how can you miss that? You are the 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 the, the, the IT officer. We will have to rely on with, with this information. Yes. Was the players machine introduced in 2020 or 2021? 2020. 2020. Yes. So we'll have your 
your statement would be incorrect. Yes. Where, where, where you mentioned 2021. Yes. Correct, sir? Yes. When in 2020? Do you know when? Is it the early? No, it was around March. Around March? Yes. And which company? With uh, 5C Energy Company. You now, uh, can, what do you know about 5C Energy Company? And its relationship with the area council? Well, um, the 5C company um, provided the And system. I will need you to, to draw yourself um, towards, towards the microphone and, and, and increase your voice, please. Okay. 5C, 5C Energy provided the system that council was using for the past three years for revenue collection to Pass maximize the, council's revenue. Yes. So that was the relationship between council and 5C. Do you know how 5C came about working with the area council, how they obtained that contract? Mm, well, 5C, I remember they came and they did a presentation yes. about the um, digital tax collection system and then council sit on it and it was approved that we can go with the company. What role did you play as an IT officer or IT unit regarding advice of any kind rega um, regarding the 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 five five C's POS machines? Well, the advice we had as an IT um, office in the council, we advised them that um, the, the the digital system was needed by the council to replace the GTRs because it will centralize all our revenue collections and uh, customer, uh, no, no, taxpayer information to be centralized in one system. So um, collectors would manipulate with the same system, with the same data. Uh, the office will manipulate with the same data. And um, the CEO or the finance director, everyone would manipulate with the same data compared to what we were using before. So now tell us, how does it work, this, this 5C machine? How does it work? How, okay. F on the collector's side, um, yes. they were given a POS machine. That POS has uh, several modules. Yes. It has a market module, it has a license module, and it has a property module. Yes. So if you are a licensed collector, you have access to the license module to do your transactions. So when you go to the field and then um, there's a new data to be inputted in the system. That data will be inputted in the system if it is not existing. Yep. Then the, um, the collector will call in the office for the data to be validated. Because if it is entered, it can be entered, but it will, you will not be able to make your collection in that instant. It has to be validated. Validation in the sense it means to confirm whether what is entered is correct and when it is and when it is validated by us in the office, then the collector would have access to be able to print the receipt for the taxpayer. That goes to all except that goes to um, property. It goes to market monthly, except for market daily, and ad hoc. Market daily market um, collectors would go to their um, module as daily collectors to cut the receipts without the validation because the number of transactions they do a day it's a lot, it's bulky. So they cannot rely on the IT to be doing validation for each taxpayer because the taxpayer details is not in the market daily uh, tickets. So the ad hoc is um, a tax that can be, that is visible today, but you might not know whether if it is going to be visible tomorrow. Let's say um, uh, uh, vehicle hawkers. Yes. They can be seen in Bilkama this year. But next year, there is no guarantee that it will be seen. Okay. So when this happens, the collector would enter the ad hoc transaction in the system and print the receipt. So they don't need the validation for the, from the office because that, that, that tax is not guaranteed that it will be there next year. And now also, how, um, how would you describe the, the machines? Were they serving their purpose? What, was there any fraud proof regarding the machine? What were the advantages and all the defects, if any, in your experience with respect to this machine? Well, the machines, the advantage they had for council was huge compared to the GTR because we were comparing what they were using and what we had. Yes. Comparing with the GTR, 
collectors would only bring, when the, with the GTR, collectors would bring what they said is collected. Yes. But with the machine, collectors would bring what they have collected. Yes. Because the machine would record every transaction they do. That is, if they choose to, um, to choose to bring, bring, bring the, the collection? Yes. If now, they, if they how do you monitor? <coughs> please, please, mm -hmm. please proceed. Go ahead. If they don't choose to um, bring the collection, the record is already there. We have measures to block their system. They will not be able to use it until when they bring the collection. Now, how do you monitor or supervise or control the activities of the revenue collectors, um, who th the ones who are using the POS machines? In your office, how do you mo monitor these transactions? Well, because we, we, we have a back office in the system. You have a what? A back office, let's back say, office. yes. Go ahead. We might say a back end. That is where we used to monitor all these transactions with the collectors. So um, if a collector is posted in Birkama, he will be able to collect only within Birkama. Yes. You cannot go outside Birkama and do the collection. If you are posted in license, you cannot collect properties. You can enter data for properties, because the, the system was designed to have more data in the system. So you can put data, but you will not be able to do the transaction for that data that you have entered. And then at the end of the week, everything collected by a particular collector, I uh, extract it from the system and then put it on a Excel sheet that is designed for a weekly collection report. Now the, the information that you have in mm -hmm. your office, yes. the IT office, mm -hmm. What information would appear on the screen or the data regarding a particular transaction? Let's, let's say, for example, um, collector or revenue, collector X um, did a particular transaction and collect, collected revenue from an individual. Yes. What information, just the main information that would be captured in the system? Okay, the, the, the system would capture the name of the, if it is a uh, property, the property yes. owner, the location, the, the, the type of property and the amount collected and the date it was collected. But later we added a new function for the transaction location to be added. That uh, is the geo coordinate. Okay. Are there any chance or are, uh, is there any possibility that there will probably be errors or error in relation to the, um, the, the data that, that will be received or printed in your office? No. There is no room there is for error? no error. We, we, we had um, experienced some error, but that was with the market daily collection. Well, I see in your statement, the second part, the second page, mm -hmm. the third paragraph, where you said, at some point, transactions are cancelled, but it has to be due to some cases like machine defection, low battery, and paper roll problem. In any of the circumstances, collectors have to communicate such problems to the IT for solutions. So what, what are you trying to explain here? Yeah, that, uh, that has nothing to do with the information. That is the hardware. The that system. is the hardware? Yes, the, the, the device that you are using. Yes. If you go up to, because um, when you are printing a receipt, you go through certain steps. The final step is printing the receipt, but the second to, final, second to last step is confirming that you have collected the money. Yes. And when this confirmation is done, that is the time when the server captures the payment. So if you want to print the receipt and then maybe there is a low battery, the machine will not be able to push, push the, the paper roll to print, but it will record as paid. Okay. And maybe sometimes if the paper roll is stuck in the machine, yes. you have already confirmed and you want to print the receipt and then it is stuck. So that also it will record the payment. So these are the problems that that are associated with the, with yeah, the machines. Yes. But then apart from that, you don't have errors of, let's say, wrong entry in the machine. Let's say, for example, if a collector comes and says that you printed, um, that there's a printout that indicates that they have made a transaction, let's say, for example, 10,000 dollars, and then which they did not do. Is that a possibility? That could only happen when the collector do a bank transfer payment type in the system. Yes. Because we have three payment types. Yes. We have cash, bank, and check. So when the bank payment is done, 
the collector need to um, contact the IT office. Please increase your voice. When that is done, yes. the collector need to contact the IT office for the reconciliation to be done. That is to be moved from that bank payment for that payment to be effected. Or else that payment will be hanging there. That is not a wrong, a wrong entry at all. No, it's that is different from what I, what, I, what I am saying. What you are saying is um, probably having an issue regarding um, a hanging payment somewhere, yes. which probably did not feature. I'm saying mm -hmm. that, for example, let's say one collector, when they come for their reconciliation, let's say on Thursdays, we understand that you do this weekly reconciliation. Is, is, is that not the case? Yes, that is. Now, is it possible that you will give a printout saying, for example, collect collector X made a transaction of $10,000 mm -hmm. when, in, when in, in fact that is not true? Is that a possibility? Yes, that could only happen as what I told you earlier about the paper roll issue. If the collector did not col uh, contact the IT unit at that point, then the machine has failed to print the receipt. I don't think you are getting my point. No, I, I got your point. Let me explain. Go ahead. Let's say the collector did five, five collections to 2,000. That is 10,000. Yes. But the last 2,000 did not print out. Yes. The machine has already, the system has already uh, recorded 10,000. Yes. But she, he, ha, he or she has already collected 8,000. Yes. Because the collector did not report that to us. For us to do the cancellation, for her to be able or him to be able to print it again. So in that case, when he come to the uh, submission, he would see 10,000, but rather maybe she collected or he collected 8,000. It could, it, 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 could it could happen in that kind of scenario. Um, yes, Council, yeah. did he did he clarify your question? Not yet, but but you, you no, no, proceed. you have to complete complete that question. What I understand that when you were saying that um, when you said that that probably let's say two to three thousand dollars collection mm -hmm. amounted to ten thousand dollars. So after the eight thousand dollars collection, let's say for example, the person is supposed to collect the last two thousand dollars to complete the ten thousand dollars transaction, mm -hmm. and at that point there is a low battery. Yes. But then the machine will only record it when you have entered the, date, the data. Mm -hmm. The only issue now left would be the print out. Yes. The machine cannot print out, um, cannot, cannot degenerate the, the, the receipt because it has no battery. Yes. Is that what you're trying to explain? Yes, that's what I'm trying to explain. I understand that point. Uh, what I am saying is, apart from that, where you have an issue of low battery, there was a transaction pending because that one is a pending transaction. Mm -hmm. It is possible that the, the collector received the money, but then cannot, cannot issue out the receipt. Mm -hmm. Is that not the case? Yeah, that is the case. But uh, apart from that one, is it possible that the machine may have may just um, generate wrong entries that will appear in the system that you may print out to say, for example, collector Y collected seven thousand dollars from from X Y Z. And that person probably never imputed those information in the machine. Is no. that a possibility? No, no, that's not a possibility. Yes, that was what, 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 what I was that, trying to explain. That, that can never happen with this. That, that can never happen with no. the machines. Please proceed, Madam Chairman. Yes, Mr. Mr. Jeng, yes. Um, um, there was a situation where the POSs um, had an issue of uh, uh, producing duplicate receipts. What was the issue? Why, 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 why that situation? Mm, duplicate receipts? Yes. For what type of tax collection? Is it Markets. for... Markets. Ma oh, Markets. no, that was the serialized serial numbers. Yes, serial The serial. issue we had was the system was repeating the same serial number. Yes. When, um, uh, when uh, maybe 10 receipts are printed, they will all have the same serial number. Yes. But that did not affect the amount the system was recording. Yes. It was recording each printed receipt as $5. Yes. But from the receipt, it was generating the same serial number. That was a system error. Yes. Uh, when we detected that error, um, we contacted the service providers, and they remedied that situation. It was solved. Now, um, um, the um, the uh, ruling out of the POS. Yes. It found you at Burkama Area Council, right? Yes. Now, uh, in terms of training, mm -hmm. uh, what sort of training was given to 
the IT unit in terms of the, the security and um, the security of the data that has been the application that is provided, the data that has been imputed, how you, in collaboration with the company, manage the security of the data? Well, um, the, the data was stored in a cloud-based server. Because normally when this happens, the, the company that stores the data in the cloud takes charge of all those uh, security measures. So in our case, it was the service providers that were doing this um, uh, storing of the data. For us, we were seeing all the data that was coming in the system, and we were doing a backup of a week monthly uh, backup. By using the metrics? Uh, How were you backing it up? Is through is um, it the metrics that you said you were using? Yes, um, because there's a download button in the system that downloads all the data in Excel format. So when it is downloaded, you have all the data in Excel format, and then we save it in, an, in, in, in a different file. Okay. So this will have all the recent, that is, that it will have all the up-to-date transactions up to the day that you have do your backup. Now, um, did you at the IT department have um, an IT, IT security policy? Yes, we have an IT policy, but it's uh, on a work in progress. It's not yet adopted. So you never had any no. ICT security policy? No, no, we don't. So in the event that you wanted, um, the, were you trained on the application itself? Yes, fully. You were trained on the application? Yes. Um, being trained on the application, were you given the opportunity to be able to regulate um, 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 problems without having recourse to the service provider? Yes, because the service provider, we only contact them if there's an issue with the, the technical issue with the system. That is, it has to deal with manipulating with the code, system code. But when it comes to the system that um, maybe uh, we have a new tax type that need to be inputted in the system now what 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 is your what is your take on the security risk when you do not have the opportunity to have access uh, to be able to manage that system um, 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 aspect that of the the, the okay that the is the the POS. In, 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 no, the, the, the POS, because the POS, we were, we were trained on how to, 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 to repair them when they are damaged. Yes. To when, the, when the paper roll is, is, is having a problem, we were trained on how to, 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 to remedy that situation. Mm -hmm. And also, but when the POS um, screen is cracked, then we will need to order a new um, screen for the POS. Yes. So when it that, comes that to is the hardware. Yes. I'm talking specifically of the software and the applications. Yeah, you know the, the software technically if it is given to us and we don't have the technical know how of the software, then maybe we might be able to do something that will affect the system. No training for that for that was done with the council. The only training that was done was how to use the system. So now my question is, was that not a security risk for Brikama Area Council? In the event that you fall out with the service provider, mm -hmm. what will happen? Because if he decides to lock you out in that particular system, you cannot, have, uh, you cannot, you cannot operate. Yeah, is that not the case? Yes, because that, that is how the contract was designed. Okay. Thank you. Council, you may proceed. Mm -hmm. Mr. Yen. Yes. Um, you talked about ad hoc postings. Yes. And you talked about the longevity of that posting. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if an ad hoc posting is done now, mm -hmm. how long does it last for it to vanish in the system? No, for the ad hoc, it never vanishes. When the transaction is done, 
it stays in the system. Mm -hmm. That is maybe if you want to make reference, because if it's vanished, then that data amount, that tax amount would vanish from the system. So if you want to do analysis from your previous month and coming month collection, then that amount wouldn't be out of the system. So, so that ad hoc amount mm -hmm. will be in the uh, against the name of the collector. Yes. And it will show as an ad hoc yes. payment. Yes, it will. And um, can you verify from that to say this is rates or this is market or this is license? Mm -hmm from the ad hoc posting or from the amount that was collected? Yeah. No, the, the ad hoc is only license. It's only license? Yeah, only license. Okay. Yeah. Um, can a collector, a collector, mm -hmm. be given access to other modules in the system, in the POS? Yes, if, if you are given access to collect all tax types, you will be able to collect it. And do you have that in your in your uh, council? No. That one uh, collector can collect rates, can collect license, can collect whatever. No, no, no. We we, we don't have that. So you no. have only yes. one collector with one module. Yes. The, the only thing we have when it comes to that discretion is, uh, let's say, license. A collector is assigned to be able to collect all areas. Like all areas, you yes. can say from the entire Birkama. district. Yes. Okay. And how is that monitored? Um, that is monitored through the system because. Okay. You talked about also uh, people that would see the transactions. Mm -hmm. Is it that you are referring to a dashboard? Yes, we, we have a dashboard that shows a summary of the collection. It, it, it has um, pie charts and then it has figures. Every month it goes from the amount that was collected the previous month to zero. So you would have, then you would have um, license, market rates, each how much is collected within that particular period of time. On a daily basis, yes. don't the dashboard also yes. show the different uh, collectors, what they are collecting? Yes. Any, any transaction that is done in the field, immediately it reflects in the dashboard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, my other point is uh, you made mention of the fact that uh, you, you store your data in the clouds. Yes. And that is done by the the provider, the service, service, service provider. providers, yes. And uh, my chairperson has alluded to that fact. Mm -hmm. If the provider says uh, you have not paid your contractual obligations mm -hmm. and he decides to lock you out, can that be uh, not a problem for the institution? Yes, it is because uh, the the system is not bought by the council. It's not bought by the council? Yes. The, the contract is signed, I think, uh, if I'm very much sure, from a period of 10 years. Mm -hmm. When these 10 years elapse, the system will be handed over to the council. But so within, in between? Yes. In within, between year one and year 10? Yes. Who has total authority to the keys of the system? It's the system provider. The system provider. So you don't have anything at the mercy of the system provider. Only to back up our data. That is now all. Now, when we you have. back up your data, let's assume mm -hmm. you back up your data in day nine. Yes. And day ten, you are shut off. Yes. Can you use your backup of day nine to continue working? No, we can only use that as a reference. As and, a reference. and it will stop at day nine? Yes, we will stop using the system unless if there is another system in place mm. that is in replica of the other system which we can migrate to immediately. Now, other, other than uh, the data being stored in the cloud, mm -hmm. do you have a backup and where do you store your backup? Yeah, we have a backup and we store it on different uh, storages. One is in my laptop, the other is in, in a... In a in a hard drive. Now, do you store your backup outside of the council? 
That would be with my laptop because I go with my laptop. Yeah, if your laptop crashes, then what? Then I'll be able to retrieve it by removing the hard drive. By? Removing the hard drive. Now, the hard drive, mm -hmm. where do you, where does, other than your laptop that has a hard drive? Yeah, that's Let's assume your hard drive, here we are assuming that your hard drive is not crashed. Or fire outbreak, you lost. Do you have any specific place within or outside the council where you could say every day my daily backup, I have to take it to this place to store it? Yeah, that would be with the uh, external hard drive we have in the office. And where do you store that external hard drive? It's, it's in the office. It's in the office. Yes. So if the office catches fire, it's gone. Or if a, a thief broke the uh, break in, it's gone. Yes. So you will not have anywhere to fall back onto to continue your operation. No, but this this data it will be very no, difficult. No, no, please. I'm not asking about this data. I'm asking. I'm creating a scenario. Yes. Because the data is not is stored in because I sent it to many people. It can be retrieved through my email. It can be retrieved through my WhatsApp. It can be retrieved through this laptop. It can be retrieved through the hard drive. So you are comfortable with how you? Yes, I am. I am very much comfortable with the way I save store my data. Your backup? Yes. Where you keep your backup? Yes. Okay. Since you are comfortable, we'll, we'll get on to that. And uh, if your, produ uh, your provider of the service mm -hmm. decide to behave otherwise, like he could be manipulated to say, okay, manipulate this data for me in the cloud, you will not know, but they will do it. Is that a possibility? It, um, they would manipulate the data on the collection that is done or whatever data you have they are storing for you in the cloud and you don't have access to that they are the only ones that have access to it couldn't that be possible it could be possible but it will be very difficult for it to be not traced for it not to be traced that this has been added in the system because yeah, it's but been that's used after the fact yes yes yeah, that's after the fact yeah yeah that that could happen Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Now, um, it is noted that the POS don't have the ID of the collector to allow for uh, accountability, responsibility, and transparency. Is that correct? The ID, what do you mean the by ID? The ID collector on the POS at the point of sale. I, ID, what do you mean by ID? The ID of the collector, uh, whether it is, it is uh, whether you created a unique number for the person or whether you said it is uh, Mr. Aliu is ABJ, that is, you know, uh, no, using no. This, uh, uh, this POS and at this time and place. No, the to reflect the ID of the collector collector himself or herself on the POS. That is, um, that for is me not to found. That is not found in this particular uh, POS. That was not incorporated. To, to understand what you are saying is um, all POS, when they came, we numbered all of them. Yes. So each POS has a number. Yes. From number one to the number of POS that we have. Yes. All collectors know that when the POS newly came, yes. when they called me, I would ask you, what is your number? The number is identified as hashtag one, two, three, four, up to the last POS we have. Yes. So if you give me your number, yes. it's very easy. I have a log here that shows the user, the number of the, because normally it happens when the credit is, is, is finished, yes. or to check whether if the credit is finished or not. Because when they complain about internet, Maybe the area that they are doesn't have an internet or the, 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 the SIM card, the internet is finished. So I would ask, if I ask them the number of the phone, they will not know. Then I would ask them, what is your number? What is the, 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 the POS number? If they say maybe um, POS number seven, when I go, I would see the collector using the POS, his account. Yes. Everything. Okay. Yes. My question, my question is for the purposes of responsibility. I understand that you have numbered the the POSs, mm -hmm. so that when somebody is allocated one, 
you know that number one is allocated to Mr. Jeng. Yes. But my question here is in the form of identifying the, the, the person that is responsible for that POS. Mm -hmm. For the purposes of, if for example, I issue a ticket to um, a taxpayer, my name will appear as the person that issued that ticket from the POS. Yeah, that, that is that the... That is not incorporated in the system of, you know... Uh, no, this, it, this. it is. That is the, the ID. Yes. The, 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 the username and the password that we give them. Yes. Because once you enter your username and your password that yes. has been pre-entered in the system, yes. it will show us Badu Jeng has logged in in the system, Badu Jeng has done this. So thing. when you issue, when Badu Jeng issues the ticket, does his ID, does his identity... His name, yes. His identity is reflected. Yes, his name is reflected because it says, the, when we go to the report, it will tell us the tax type, the location, the amount collected, and the collector that collects it. So the, the, the collector column would have the collectors that did, their, that did the transaction. It will have their name written on it. Okay, we, we will come back to that. Council, you may proceed. Thank you very much. Um, now, how many people have access to this information regarding um, in the area council? Well, in the area council, you have the IT unit, finance, admin, the CEO, and the then chairman. The IT unit, finance? The IT finance, the CEO, CEO, and the then chairman. And the then chairman? Yes. yes. Now, how do you and, how do they and, and audit? And audit also. And audit? Yes. Are you saying the audit office have, do they have a screen in their office? No, they have a laptop. Laptop. Mm -hmm. And for, for all these departments or units, they have um, their laptop. How, what do you have? Do you have a laptop or you have a big I, screen? In your I have a laptop. CEO had a big screen in his office. And the same way you will have access to the information as they are being... Um, as the transition is, being, is happening, yes. it's the same way they will have access to this information. Yes. Now, in your statement, you have said that um, you will uh, tabulate or draw out the, the weekly collections mm -hmm. that the revenue collectors would do or mm -hmm. will do and then share that with the re relevant departments. Yes. How do you do this? Do you print them out? No, I send it via email on every Wednesday. We have a group email that we share this report to. So every Wednesday, the, uh, the email is sent. So in the morning, even if I am not around, audit would be able to do their printout, and then they would do their auditing. And they would be able to confirm from what I did, because what I did is in an Excel sheet. It's not, from the, it's, it's, it's not in the system. So they can do their comparison from the system and what I have printed. And see whether it yes. is accurate or not. Yes, it's accurate or not. That makes sense. Now, um, in the course of doing that, mm -hmm. have you had, what problems do you normally face? Uh, printing the report. Yes. Uh, not, not much, because I, the only problem that, w that I would have is what you were trying to ask me. Yes. Collectors complaining of not collecting what is recorded. Yes. So from there, we would try to see the issue. And solve it. And solve it. Even if it, if it go up to the extent of calling the taxpayer, or it would call the taxpayer. Because for me, when they come, I will tell them, it has now passed my stage. I cannot do any changes here. Go to audit. Yes. Then audit would check the tax, the, where the issue is. Because for me, I can be able, maybe sometimes, I'll be able to trace out the problem. With the cash book, with the um, submission report. Because we have a summary report and we have a detailed report. The detailed one would have all the taxpayers that the collector collect tax from. So they can confirm from their, their cash book with that um, uh, uh, report. So if we find some name missing from their uh, cash book and it is in the report, then audit would have to take on that. Now, how many machines were you supplied with in 2020 and thereafter? How many? Um, it's about 101. One, let, let me let, let me check my record here. Yes, you see, these are the informations that you will now need your your laptop. Is that not the case? Yes. Jeng? Yes.
Okay. And first, we were presented with, uh, we were given four test devices for the training. Four test devices? Yes. For the training? Yes. And In then 2020? Yes. Go ahead, sir. And then we were given 196. 96? POS devices, yes. So how many revenue cultures do you have all together? Revenue collectors, wait, I, I cannot say that of it because I'm not their managers. And I mean, if you can't tell us now, you can just um, tell us no, later. I, I can uh, provide that. I, I want to check the. I want to check the uh, one of the reports. Yes. Did you see it? H yes. Have you seen it? Yes, I have seen it. Let How many? Just, let me try to pull out one. I can only know this with the reports that I used to prepare. Um, license. At that point, we had 13. Please, please increase your voice. License. At that time, we have 13. 13. Yes. At that time, this 2020. Yes. Go ahead, sir. On property, we had uh, we had 43. This is uh, uh, along with um, value property collectors. Yes. 43. Go ahead. And let me check market now. Mr. Jang, information um, you can supply us with this information afterwards. Okay. If you don't have them, no, I, I have which. them. I'm just trying to remember the way I saved them. Okay, but I that's have fine. all the information in the lab. All right. Here. So what what you do? Just uh, provide us with that information. Okay. After your testimony today. And we will need the the um, the correct data from 2018 to 2023. Um, which data is that? Regarding. The, um, the number of revenue colors you have. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Jen, just to help the uh, council. Yes. Uh, from what you have indicated, you had 100 POSs. Yes. Did you issue out all the 100 POSs? No, we did not so issue out. So you still have some left with you? No. In most your custody? No, not any. You, ha you were supplied with 100? Yes. Four for testing and 96 was given after. Yes, even, even the, the ones for testing were now turned into uh, life devices for collection. Yeah, so that's the 100 I'm talking about. Yes. That's the 100 POSs. Mm -hmm. Have you issued out all these 100 POSs? Yes. You I have? Did. Yes. So at least 100 collectors have each had a POS. No, we do not have hundred collectors by then because you don't have a you don't have hundred collectors. No, because most most of the devices that we are using were faulty, so we had to replace them with the ones that we have in stock. No, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Now the issue is 
what the council have said. Mm -hmm. Bring us the data, then we will know how many collectors you have. Yes. That have been issued with POSs. Okay. Thank you. Let me just before you. Uh, Mr. Jang? Yes. Um, as at no. the time you were using these POSs, you were using the, um, the hypertext transfer protocol, correct? Yes. And you know that that, that system was unsecure, right? Yes. So why did you allow the council to use an unsecure system? This, this was raised. It was raised that the, the system it has. It was raised as raised. an issue, yes. Who raised it? Um, the IT unit raised it. Uh, how did you raise it? Um, through email. We sent an email. Please provide us with the email. Yes, I will, I will, I will, I will check the Thank file. Thank you. Can you may proceed? Yes, um, so we will need the, 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 the information regarding the number of characters that you have in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023 as well. Do you understand? Yes, I, I can only provide the list of collectors that we're using the, the POS. POS. Yes, from 2020? Yes. Very well. Please do that. How soon uh, can we have this? Before I leave here, I can give you all. It's in the laptop. Now, the other, yes, you can see the registrar with, um, regarding that information. Okay. Now, the other issue is, you have had a ca case where um, there will be a revenue collector that is said to have not been coming for reconciliation or submission for a while. Mm -hmm. Have you had that, that instance? Yes. What do you do about that normally? Because for us, um, when that happens, that is, um, that is out of our hands. That is between management, yes. audit, and finance. Yes. So we, we just wait for um, um, directives to be given to us. Because most of the, um, the, the, the measures they use is to block their device. Is to block their device. device. So okay. when that information comes to IT that through the manager that this person has to be blocked, we block the system. Now, have you had that, that, that instance when you, you will be asked to, yes. to block the, devi the device of um, revenue collectors? Yes. Please tell us about that and the names of the individuals who are involved. Oh. No, most of this were not done um, through writing, it was done. Ver most of it is done through verbal. I understand, but the mm -hmm. names of the individuals that, or the revenue collectors that you were asked to to block their devices. How many people have you blocked their device? How many revenue collectors? I uh, I cannot remember that. But do you g give us an example of names that you have really blocked? No. You don't have any name on top of your head? No, no, no. I, I, I don't want to call out a name that I was not blocked. But will you, can you be able to give us that information then? Yes, I have to liaise with the manager. Do you have the, the data of the information regarding, sorry, the data regarding the names of individuals that were blocked at one, pre, at one point? No, because it was not done through written. But why no, would you no. not have the data? The issue is they must only be blocked because of a reason. Probably they did not come for submission. Yes. And therefore the information has to be there. Yes, but you um, our office don't have that information. Currently. Do you not think it was probably prudent to have information regarding the people that were found wanting? Because you just don't block anyone for no reason. Is that not the case? Yeah, the, the, there is a reason. The reason is explained verbally. Yes. It was not written. And what would the reason be mainly or, or in most instances? Most instances would be the collector is not submitting. That's what I'm saying. There mm -hmm. will be instances wherein you will have collectors that will be collecting money and then it will reflect on the screen yes but they will not be submitting how often do you have this uh, not not very often not 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 very very not very, very often. often yes but we have information that the collectors would normally not not come to um, submit yes um, every, mm -hmm. almost for about two three weeks or months yeah that audit audit would have that information if if audit tells you these collectors were not submitting then because they are the ones who deals with them after the submission. But that's why I said mm -hmm. it cannot be not often. It has to be frequent because what the information we have from audit is that that is, a, that, that is really frequent. They have this lodgement log. Do you know about this lodgement log? Yes, that is the one I normally send every Wednesday. So you are the one who prepares this lodgement log? Yes. And then the information that is in the lodgement log, you will be the one to prepare it? Yes. But then you wouldn't know 
you wouldn't have anything to do with the signatures? No, no, no. no. Now, I, I will show you one sample of the lodgement log that you prepare, and you get us through, because we had a little bit of difficulty getting information from the principal audit auditor. Okay. Yes, I've, I've seen it. Please show the commissioners so that they can follow the transactions. Yes, so I am giving the commissioner samples of this lodgement log. Now, can you explain to us the what the information that is contained? Okay, um, the information that is contained, <coughs> the first column we have... Um, and please, please speak into the microphone, please. Um, speak, okay. The first information we have is the collector collector type. It should yes. be collection type. I mean, that, that's a type. It should whatever. be co collection type. Collection type, yes. Go ahead, sir. Collection type, name of collector, open date, close date. What, what, what is the, what is this open date and close date? What, what, what does it mean? Okay, okay. The open date means when they open their cash book. That is the beginning of the week. Yes. On normally on Thursdays. Yes. The, the closing date is when they close their books. That is on Wednesday. Yes. Yes. And the total number means the total number of collection. How many? Total number of transactions. Yes. Total number of transactions. Transactions. Yes. And the total value means how much is collected. Mid KPI means uh, this KPI means the um, key performance indicator. Because when the project started, we, we anticipated that every day a collector should be able to collect five, should be able to do five transactions. Five minimum? Yes. So within these five transactions, uh, for the six days, it will be 30. Yes. You should do a 30 um, collections. Yes. But then after this was not being heeded because it was just there. We were, we were not following these details. Because when you check against the total number and meet Why KPI, were you not, not following that? Because um, it is implemented, but collectors were not collecting the KPI that was given to them. For what reason, um, IT would not know. Who, who, who will have this information as to why they were not collecting? Um, probably the, the line managers would, would, would give the reason why the, 30, um, the collectors could not be able to collect 30 transactions within the week. The the um, do, do, is it the tickets you call it or the the rule this thing um, that, that, will, that will be in the in the previous machines the, the tickets that it will generate yes how many how many can it generate before the, it is exhausted the tickets yes oh, no. the ticket rule I, do you know I I don't know the, the, the how is that the why is, is it impossible to know no, it is not impossible to know. Because if you are saying that there should be probably 30 transactions, is that what yes. you're saying? Yes. Then it means you will have to know how many transactions the 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 rule, the ticket rule can generate. Yes. No, but I don't know how much it can generate, but I know for sure it can generate more than 30. More than 30? Yes. But I'm saying whether it is not a possibility to know how much a ticket can generate. Yeah, it is a possibility to know. So... If, um, if, a, if a particular rule is exhausted, how would you know? Mm, you know the rule, we give them a big rule, big yes. paper rule, and then another small uh, uh, sticks type. Yes. The way they will roll the paper, because that big paper rule cannot fit in the POS. So they will roll it to the size of the um, POS, what the POS can, can take, and then they put it in there. So normally market collectors, we detected market collectors, um, they can exhaust a paper roll within a day. Some market collectors. Within a day? Yes. One, the big and, one that we gave. And in your experience, how many transactions ca can that be or will that be? On no. average, you don't, you don't have to be very much accurate. Uh, no, that's... I, you don't I, know? I, I don't know. Mr. Jeng, these are, these are things you should know. You, you have... 
you monitor this, this uh, transaction? No, you know, that, that, that has to deal with monetary issue. No, it has to deal with IT. It has to deal with IT. The number of transactions. Who issue um, these rules? Is it not your office? Yeah, our Ticket office. Rules. Yes, our office give it to the, the collectors. So when they, the, when they exhaust, they, they come, come back to request. you. Yes. That's what I'm saying. So if they come back to you and they tell you their ticket is exhausted, that's how you know mm -hmm. that the market collectors can exhaust at a, a particular role in a day. Yes. And therefore, you have the screen, you know exactly how many transactions are or is generated or is performed. Yes. And you prepare the, the weekly report or however you call it. Yes. Then you will have an, an understanding or an idea as to, on average, how many transactions can, can be performed be before a particular role is exhausted. Is that not the case? Yes, but um, we have never bothered to know how many transactions a particular role would take. It has never because crossed are, your mind. For the fact that we have what is collected, even if you take the paper roll and burn it down, we already know what you have collected. You, you have collected. Because that was what we were more interested in. But the value, these rules, they, they cost money. Yes. So they have to be controlled and, and monitored. Yes. It is not free. Is it free? Who, who buys these rules? Uh, at some point, it was the service provider, and at some point, it was the council. You see? So it is really valuable, right? Yes. Now, please proceed with your explanation, and then before we close with your... Okay. Go ahead. Then, percentage from total. This means um, the total... The total that is collected from the percentage of the entire license collection. Yes. Let's say the first one, the, he collected 10 percent point, 10.96. Yes. That is probably he collected higher than all his other colleagues. Yes. And the, 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 the signature bank, that one, the collectors filled it. And when you come at the back, there's, yes. a, summary, there's a summary table. Yes. That gives the tax type the total number of transactions, total amounts, and from percentage. Yes, yes. So this license, it has, a, uh, for me, the one I have, it has 127 transactions, and the amount collected is there, and you have the, um, the, the, the uh, percentage from total. This percentage from total means the total collection of the entire week, market, valued property, flat rate, ad hoc, everything this is the percentage from that total so we will be able to know license has how many percent of our total collected revenue within that week now lastly or are there any questions regarding this you said the um, the opening date and the closing date yes let me give you the one i am holding and you take us through because what we have here is 24th of march um, 2022 to 38th of March 2022. Yes. And total number uh, written here is 18. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have said um, the opening the the opening date is when the person yes. goes to do the collection. Yes. And the closing is the date he comes to submit. Yes. And that should be within a one one week period. Yes. But from what you have here is different. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Oh, yes. So, Go on. so uh, why is it that? What, what is the difference there? The dates. The date you have from... Uh, from 20... Um, um, Registrar, can you please call, give him? Call it out, I'll count it. This, this first one, the first one, Al-Fuseni Koli. You have here the 24th. Let me just put it here so that I can... I can clarify for you. Then you have 38 degree. Now, my question is, you have said the opening is when he goes to do the collection. Yes. And the closing is um, on Thursday when he comes to do his um, yes uh, reconciliation or submission yes and that 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 time period should be within a week yes and this is more than a week so what explains this because um I've I've just opened the calendar for March 2022 yes if you check um 24th falls on a Thursday yes 
and 20 and 38 files on a Wednesday. Yes. This is the routine type of collection, the opening date and the closing date. Normally, the, 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 the opening date, that is when they come to the office on Thursday, because let's say yesterday or well, today is Wednesday. Today in the, in the evening, they have to close their books and do their total. So tomorrow in the morning on Thursday, they go to the bank and then lodge the amount that they have collected. Then the same Thursday, that is when they come to the office to do the auditing. Then the same Thursday that they go back to the field and then start their, uh, their collection again for that yes, yes. other week. Okay. So, so is, it, is, it, is it a monthly or a weekly thing? It's a weekly. For, this, for the closing and the, for the opening and the closing? It's, it's a weekly. Yes. One, two, three. Then, then, then that matrix there is wrong because it is giving you on the paper 24th of March 2022 to 30th of March 2022. Yes. It ought to have been the, the, the 24th to the next Thursday. No, that, that would be more than a week because if you count from 24th, 1, yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 38 is the seventh day. Okay. That is on Wednesday. So if you have to go to Thursday, it will be the eighth day. Okay. That will be a one week, one day. I now understand. Yes. All right, thank you. Now, let me just... Now, let me show you the total value of, of the collection. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's been altered by, by, the, uh, by the auditors, for example. I'll just show you. There was a total value of $278,744.60 butut in relation to one Mustafa Juf between the 2nd of June, sorry, the 6th of February, 2022, to the to 6th of August, 2022. Well, you can verify that. But then it was altered to be $78,000. So the two was changed to D, as in Dallas. Mm Do you see that, sir? Yes, I've, I've, I've seen it. Is that possible? Well, from what I, um, what I was explaining to you is um, about this uh, lodgement. Yes. That is when they come to me for, in, for, the, for, the, for the changes that it, there is a mistake in the lodgement. Yes. It is audit responsibility to do the investigation to know whether if this was collected or there was an issue. Yes. So maybe audit detected that there was an issue. They consulted me, or they consulted the tax uh, payer, and they were able to detect the issue. But I, I cannot, I cannot be able to tell why this two was changed to D. Will you not norm normally be contacted? Yeah, I will be contacted for clarifications. Like and that is, if they, if they want to go deep inside to know what causes this, then I will bring out the, the detailed um, collection. When the detail collection is out, then they will follow the detail collection with the collector's book. From there, the collector would be able to detect that maybe this collector is not, this taxpayer is not collected. Then audit will do their investigation to see whether if that is the thing going on or the collector is making it up. So this, this I think this is done be, uh, because the, collect, the, the audit has already done their investigation and then they change this to D. To D. To, 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 to be yeah. 78,000. Yeah, yeah, that is what Plus. I'm assuming. In, instead of 200 and something. Yes. Very well, we will ask um, the, the principal auditor again. Now, the, the last is the, the National Audit of, Office, the, the 2019, 2020, 2021 um, audit have um, made reference to not having of course, IT, IT policy, the chairperson has already raised that, those issues. Yes. Um, not updating your antivirus. 
yes. not having a secure system, yes. and you not having uh, the required um, qualification. Even now, you are you, you you are at the university. Yes. In, in your third year. Yes. So therefore, probably that issue may be overtaken by events. Mm -hmm. Yes. Congratulations um, with that. But how safe is the system? Are you guys up to date in relation to securing the data, um, in relation to um, the information in the area council? Do uh, you have um, virus proof systems? Do you have hard proof systems? Please tell us about that in relation to that. That, that would be the last question for the day. Yes, we, we purchased antiviruses last year, but currently they have expired. So we are on the procurement stage to procure new antiviruses for the systems that we have installed in the system, in, in the office rather. How about training policies? You, have you been? Yeah, training policy, it's. Are they available yes, for, it is, for the it unit? Is, it is no, for, for the entire council. It's not only for our unit. Is your training being paid for by the council? Yes, it is. Currently? Yes. And, and you're just two, two in number? Yes. Why haven't you developed any IT policy yourself and, and your, do I say your boss or, or, yes. or your senior? My senior, my boss. Why yes. is there no, no ICT policy? There is, but it's, it's on a work in progress because the document, the document is there. Since, I guess, I guess last year. Since last year? Last year or year before last. The document has been there because we need to sit with the council, the, the, senior, uh, the senior staffs, and then um, review this policy. And why is that difficult? Hmm? Why is that difficult? Uh, well, uh, it's, 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 uh, I, I cannot say why is it difficult because I think we have tried. Who, who, who prepared the policy? It was um, um, uh, the senior IT in consultation, the two of us. So you mean you could currently have a draft? Yes, there, it is there. It's if we were to request for the draft, will, will we have access to it? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes, very well. Now, the other question is, can we have access to the data from 2020? Yes, you can. The data in relation to the revenue collectors? Is it possible to have access to it? What, what data are we talking about? The revenue? Because I have two. I have this, um, the lodgement logs in soft copy. Yes. And I have all the um, data within West Coast in the system, that we were using in the system. Yes. That's so we if, if, if you were living in West Coast and you once paid tax, you will find your name there. So we need that data. Okay. When, when, when can you make this available? Right now, when um, the register is ready. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, are there any questions for the witness? Um, this um, this lodgement log for um, from the 24th to the 30th of March 2022, can you get into the system and uh, follow me through? Um, you realize that um, on the licenses, mm -hmm. um, um, Collector's name is Bintu Manjang. Yes. And um, there is a sum total value of um, 98,000. Is it 500 or 9,850? We see that there is alteration made in the typed copy. There was already a figure on it, mm -hmm. and an alteration is made here too. And the same goes for uh, collector. Modulamin Sedikan. Yes. Um, the sum total that is um, on the total value is 74,000. And we see that 69,000 is written bet beside it, and um, a red pen is used to cross the 74,000. Can you explain to us? Please have a look at this. The one is in blue, and the other one is in red pen. Can you give it to him? For the one in blue, Binter, please check in your system what was the amount and why was it cancelled and a new figure written on it because it's not clear whether it is 9,850 or is it 900 um, or 
Mr. Jiang, if it is proving difficult, uh, mm. we will give you time to, to provide okay. it. Because I, I, I have a lot of files and where I saved it. Yes. So, so this, um, this writings, uh, when it comes to IT, we don't put ink on this paper. Yes. The only thing we do is we prepare this report and send it through email. Yes. This never comes back to our office. Okay. So when these alterations are done, probably audit has detected something. Okay. In consultation with IT, and then the, hopefully the situation is remedied and then they change it. But how would we know? Because these alterations, there is no counter signature on those alterations to show that uh, this particular officer did the alteration. And whether or not these alterations have been transferred, remitted back to your office to do the necessary correction in the system. Because the records you have, somebody auditing, auditing these records is what you send originally. That's yes. what will be contained in your records. Yes. Not what has been altered on the document. Yes. Yes. Well, as I said, when this document goes to audit, yes. this doesn't come back to us. Okay. So we don't do all these rectifications. Yeah. In, okay. in the record that we have already sent. Okay, but please find out the information and then we will produce to you so many of the alterations on the log lodgement log to cross check and give us the correct inputted data on it. Okay, okay ma'am. Now, there is the, um, you, you, you talked about the, um, um, the fact that IT finance um, um, audit and the chairman has access, uh, has access to the system. the system. Yes. And all for, for example, all this data. Mm -hmm. um, my question is, for all of these people that have access, who amongst you have access um, to to do any transaction to super super? Um, 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 yes. Who is the super user in the system? that can override transactions, or can override information, or can amend, delete information in the system? That is um, us, IT. Only IT? Yes, that because have we have different roles. We have administrative yes, roles. Yes, I understand, but this, this is data. And um, um, my question is, does anybody has the possibility of imputing, altering, or amending, you understand? Because you said you've listed the people that have access to it, yes. direct access to it. Mm -hmm. So, apart from IT, which of these other offices have direct access to log in, impute um, information into the system? No, because they they are not given that role. Okay. Some are given the role to view. Some are given the role to to to, to edit. Some are given the role to to uh, do alterations. Yes. So when it, when it comes to doing alteration or making changes in the system, the system had a audit trail. Okay. Anything that Badu does, below that information, it will be listed. Badu did this time from this date, from this time to this time. Bakari did this from this time to this time. Uh, Samba did this from the, it has the audit trail that tells us who manipulated with that specific information. Even when the collector collects, from that audit trail, if you click the audit trail, it will tell you that a collector has collected this, oh. has, has, has altered with this type of information that is through collection. But now, you have that, but you do not have rules and procedures of what will be the consequence of some of these people that have access and how they can use the data and et cetera. You don't have rules and procedures in place. Is that correct? For, for the system providers? Yes, no. For, no, the, for the use of you, the, to guide uh, you, the staff, and the users. No, we, we don't Thank have you. that. Mr. Jen. Yes. Um, how many um, Fansu Bojangs do you have? Um, for collectors, we have yeah. only one Fansu Bojang. You have only? One Fansu. But I've seen one Fansu Bojang mm -hmm. collecting for, on the same date, like 10th of February, 2021, mm -hmm. on the properties, valued properties. Yes. And I have on the flat rates, 
the same Fansu Bojang. But this you have Fansu Bojang 2. Yes. What does that mean? What does these other numbers at the side of their names mean? Um, that is probably because Fansu did a collection on value property and he also did a collection on rates. So his name would fall on a value property and on rates. Okay, what about the, na the numbers attached to their names? That is the number of transactions they did. That's the number of transactions they did? Yes. Okay, the other thing I wanted to know is uh, if you don't submit, if a no submission was made, mm -hmm. and you have their names on this your list. Yes. Um, I'm just asking a question. Maybe you might not be able to answer it. In your next week printer, let's say this is week three. In week four, if you don't submit in week three, would your name be in week four as non-submission? No, because the week three, the, the week three lock has already been passed to audit. Okay. So it's somebody within the finance department. Yes, would we'll have to be follow able that to up. Give yes. you that. Okay. The other thing I wanted to know is um, this could be administrative, but you, you, do you have any voucher? Like, if you want to change something in the system, do you have any advice of change, as they would call it? to send to you IT to change this data or to change that, and that would be in your log? No, no, we don't, you don't have, have that. that. No. And do you have a, a super user? Yes, that is IT. We, have, we are the super All users. All in IT? Yeah, both of us. You Still and the... Senior IT officer. Okay. So you are the only two super users? Yeah, and, and probably the system providers. And the system providers? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, are you done with the witness? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Jeng? Yes, ma'am. We have um, asked you to provide us with the information, and there is some that um, you said you can provide immediately. Yes. Um, you could wait because we will be rising by one so that you could list with the registrar and provide that ASAP. And uh, we will thank you for coming. And when we need you, you have been discharged. When we need you, we will call you for clarification. Thank you. Thank you so much. Registrar, can you call the next witness, please? On this way, that's a camera. Can you, can you, hold, yes, look at that camera. Hold on to this. Uh, welcome to this commission of inquiry into local government councils and related matters. Uh, to start, what is your religion? Muslim. Can you speak into the mic, please? Muslim, Muslim. Sp get the mic closer to your mouth and speak. Muslim, I'm a Muslim. Okay, in which language do you wish to make your testimony? Anyway, I will do my best in English. 
Thank you. Uh, do you wish to swear by the Holy Quran or make an affirmation? I want to make an affirmation. Uh, you want to affirm? Yes. Okay. Madam Chair, the witness wishes to affirm. Okay. Then uh, you raise your hand. Can you please, uh, Angel, raise your right hand in the air and then repeat after me? I, I Lamin K. Kante, Lamin K. Kante, do solemnly, do solemnly, sincerely, sincerely, and truly declare, and truly declare, and affirm that, and affirm that, the evidence, the evidence, I shall give, I shall give, shall be, shall be, the truth, the truth, the whole truth, the whole truth, and nothing, and nothing, but the truth, but the truth. Okay, you may be kindly seated. Madam Chair, the witness is sworn, and I have the honor to hand over the witness to you for us to proceed. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Kante. Afternoon, Ma. You, you are welcome. Can you move closer to the microphone, please? OK, OK. Thank you. Council, we may proceed. Please tell us your name. Lamin K. Kante. Mr. Kante, what is your address? Birkama Sumakunda. Birkama? Sumakunda. Sumakunda. Now, um, Mr. Kante, just tell us your educational background. I graduated in Brikama Primary School from there to Brikama Secondary School. Which year is that? 1983. It was when you, um, you finished I your... Education. Your grade 12, is no, it? No, no, no. Your what? Secondary 4. Secondary 4? Secondary 4. 1983? 1983. 1983. You had any qualification after that? No, no, only internal training. Internal training? Yes. Now, you gave a statement to the investigators? Yes. This was on the 17th of November, 2023. We will show you the, the statement. Okay. And uh, if, you need your, if you need to refresh your mind, then probably it will be the best guide. Can the witness be shown All right. his statement? Please go through your statement and tell us whether that is the statement you give to the investigators. You can turn to the next page where, where you have the your name and signature column. Yes, yes. Is that your signature, sir? Anyway, this is changed. I have another document. It is changed. This is changed. What do you mean it is changed? I went to the or I, I went back to the investigators. Yes. So they call me back to go and testify again. I went back to them and give them information all about me. Please, they, please. Um, speak into the microphone and, and be loud, please, and I'm forced to hear you. Okay. I said I went back to the, uh, to the investigators. Yes. To, to take my information, and I give them the, the latest information. Just it's not more than two weeks. I think last Does that mean this, you, you, you don't want to rely on this anymore? No, no, no. I don't want to rely on it. Why is that? There is a change. What is the change? Responsibility. The responsibility part. Yes. Where? Which paragraph? Just tell us the paragraph. Paragraph.
Good afternoon, Madam Witness. Madam Witness, can you hold this mic? Madam Witness, welcome to this Commission of Inquiry into Local Government Councils and Related Matters. Okay. Uh, what is your religion? In which language do you make, want to make your testimony? Malinka. Malinka, okay. Do you wish to swear by the Holy Quran or make an affirmation? Affirmation. Yes. Okay, Madam Chair, the witness wishes to make an affirmation. Okay, raise your hand into the air and repeat after me. I. I. Fatu Damfa. Fatu Damfa. Do solemnly. Do solemnly. Sincerely. Sincerely. And truly declare. And truly declare. And um, affirm Madam that. Madam Chair, may I? Sorry? The evidence. Um, the evidence. May I, may I, may I re respectfully in interrupt the, the Secretary to the Commission? I think. Um, when the secretary speaks in English, then the witness should speak in, in her local language, the one she opts to um, speak in. Okay, fair well. Um, fair enough. Can we have the interpreter interpret Mr. that Mr. so Mani. that um, they can understand? Um, can uh, we just confirm that she, she has opted to speak in I, I, Mandinka? I, I sure you want to proceed in English or in Mandinka? Yeah, I can use English. You can use English. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Um, Madam Chair, the witness wishes to proceed with English. Okay. You can proceed. Okay. Then, uh, we do that again. I. I. Fatu Damfa. Fatu Damfa. Do solemnly. Do solemnly. Sincerely. Sincerely. And truly declare. And truly declare. And affirm that. And affirm that. The evidence. The evidence. I shall give. I shall give. Shall be. Shall be. The truth. The truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing. Nothing. But the truth. But the truth. Thank you. You may kindly take your seat. Madam Chair, the witness is sworn. I have the honor to hand over the witness to you for us to proceed. Um, Madam Damfa, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Um, let me just ask again. Are you comfortable in the language in which you want to give your evidence? Yes. That is English? Yeah. Thank you. Um, you are welcome. Thank you. Um, Council, we may proceed. Good. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please state your name. I'm Fat Damfa. Your address? Birkama Nyambai. You, you gave a statement to the investigators? Yes. In fact, you gave two statements to the, to the investigators. Two. Okay. You gave two statements to the investigators. OK. I, I, it's a question. Yes. How many statements did you give to the investigators? How many times were you called by the investigators to write some okay. to write a statement? No, it was only one when I gave the statement, then the later one when I paid the money, that's the time I gave. So it's two? Yes, two. We will now show you the statements. Okay. And you tell us whether um, the, do those are the ones that you gave to the investigators. Do you understand that? Okay, no problem. Please look at the, the first statement dated the 7th of March 2024. And tell us whether you, you signed the statement? Yes, I did. And the second one is dated the 21st of March, okay. 2024, is that correct? Why is this a current statement? But then the one you have. Yes. What, what is the date on it? Uh, it was 7 March. We apply to tender the statement of the witness for the Dunfa dated the 7th of March 2024 into evidence as an exhibit. Yes.
The statement of the witness, Fatu Damfa, dated the 7th of March 2024, is hereby admitted in evidence and marked as LGC slash FD slash BKAC slash 001. As the Commission pleases. Now, please tell us your educational background. Okay. I graduated from Kintaro Board of Senior Secondary School. <coughs> please proceed. Yeah, that's what I did my grade 12. Your grade 12? You used to work grade 12? Yes. And when were you employed, or when did you start working with the Bilkama Area Council? 2014. 2014, as what? As revenue collector. A revenue collector? Yeah. And where were you posted? I was posted at uh, car park. Car park? Yes, race department. Race department? Yes. And are you still at the race department? No, no, I'm in Lansing department this year. This year? Yes. So you've been at the car park since your employment? Yeah. Um, you were also given, a, given this previous machine in, in, in 2020? Pardon? These machines, these automated machines? Yes, yes. How many? One. Now, um, there are adverse findings against you, okay. which you've also stated in your statement. Yes. Do you recall this? Yes. Now, the first one is stated um, in the third paragraph of your statement. It says that on the, on the issue of unpaid collections amounting to $6,050 by the 2019 National Audit Report, mm -hmm. that regarding this issue, as soon as I am informed by the query, I pay the said money. But why did you even have this shortage in the first place? Pardon? Why was there this shortage in the first place? Okay. Maybe the time I was calculating, I may have some calculation problems, so that's why. Calculation problems? Yeah. How is that possible? It normally happens sometimes. You, if you go to the bank, you made underpayment, less underpayment. If you go to the bank? You made, for instance, if you collect 50,000, when you go to the bank, you submitted, let's say, uh, 45,000 or 49,000. Why would that be? You have your GTR, you have your cash book, and then why, what, what, what will cause this, this shortage? That's what I said. I said maybe it may be like the, when I was calculating, I may have problem there. That's what I said. Now, um, on your second paragraph, there was also another issue of $36,000. $36,750 by the 2021 National Audit Report. Do you recall this? No. It's in your statement. Read your last paragraph of your statement on the first page. Why is this statement? Where you said you accepted an, the query and you take full responsibility. That means the whole district. Not the, the, that, that's, it's not the only one we are talking about. It is not the? It's not the one we are talking about. No, I've, I've, I've already left that, that 6,000 as an issue. Okay. And now, with, with respect to the 2021 finding, 2021. in 2019, yes. the issue was mainly regarding um, mistake in calculation. That's what you said. Yes. Now, how about in 2021? The amount that is stated there, that is $6,750. That's what I'm trying to explain. It's the 6000 you are talking about. Yes. And the whole, uh, the entire money need to be 36,000, not like it's the only one. I don't understand. I, I don't know whether you are getting me. I said, the 6,000 you are talking about, understand? Yes, yes. The whole audit query is, is the total amount you are talking about. It's not like the 2021 is the 36,000 you are talking about. I don't I, know whether you are getting me. I still don't get you. The 6,000, when was this? I think it was 2019. Yes. The 36,000 when was this? It's in your statement, and you said you take full responsibility of it. Why are you now saying that it is the, old, it, it, it is the same one? I, I think you are not getting me. What I'm trying to explain is, yes. the 6,000 dollars is, it was like 500, 6,000, Thousand dollars. I said the whole this thing we went up to thirty-six thousand. Not the only twenty-two, twenty-one is twenty-one thousand. 
31,000. I understand that. It is not one transaction. Is, is, is that what you're trying to explain? Yes. The, the, the amount you are talking about is yes. about... Pardon? Go ahead. I said the amount you are talking about... Yes. Is the number of all the money that I paid. I understand that. Okay. And yes. I, was, I was thinking you are saying about is only one transaction. No, I, I'm not saying it's one transaction. I am oh. saying that it is the, 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 the difference you've had that has... Uh, do you admit that you had a difference of this amount? Yes, it's 33,000. 33,000 dollars? Yes. Instead of 36,000 dollars? Yes. And why was that the case? It was not uh, at the same time, like the other one, 500,000 dollars, stuff like that. The other one? I said it was not at the... It was not a uh, level as one, the other one, thousand dollars is, and then 500, they accumulate. It's not like only... You have 500, shortage, you have 13,000 dollars is yes, the yes. difference. You yeah. have 10,000 dollars is the difference, you have 2,000 dollars is the difference. Yeah. It's not the same time, yes. I understand. I mean, okay. This difference will not be the same. You will be audited, and then they will look at your transactions. Yeah. And they will look at your transactions for the week, or for the year, or for the month. Whichever the case may be. Okay. And that is the, that is the accumulation. That is, that is the total amount. The total amount, yes. 33. Yes. I am just ex I'm trying to understand how you, 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 you go about having this, this difference. Do you understand my question? I, you said? Why did you have this difference? I was having some issues, so I guess that's, that's the main reason. What issues were you having? No, I, I have had some issues. Like, I was not thinking straight. You were not? There is a time that uh, when I calculate, then I will have some sort Normally, if I go to the bank, I will not detect it. When I come to the leaders, they will let me know. But most of them, I was not even aware of it. You said you were having some issues. Yes. What issues were you having? That was personal. We are, we are, <laughs> we are, we, we, we are. We, your, your employment was not personal, was it? Uh, pardon? Your employment was not personal, was it? Yes, yes, I know. So, you, so you, the money that you, that you collect is, was, was, done, was spent on personal issues? Is, not, is that what you're saying? No, no, you're not getting me. I said, because it's happened different, different times. So sometimes it may be uh, when I was calculating the mistake, the had mistake from there, so they accumulated like, Stuff like that, up to Mr. this amount. Is it Miss or Mrs? Mrs. The bottom line is you use the money for your own personal issues. Is that not the case? Yes. It's as simple as that. So you don't come here and, and give us mm. um, excuses for no reason. I mean, you have no, do you not know that you are not supposed to use the revenue you collect for your own personal um, benefit? Yes. Um, any, any questions for the witness? Um, Mrs. Danfa, can you tell us your age? I'm 32. What, what is your date of birth? 1988. What month? 25th of December. Um, you have a cash book, right? Yes. Please present the cash book so that we admit it in evidence. Yes. Uh, Mr. Balo, can you please... Now, um, Mrs. Danfa, do you, have you taken any loan at the council? How much is the loan that you took from the council? It's 50,000. <coughs> when did you take this loan? I, from 2018 to date, how many loans did you take? And you tell us the cumulative figure, not the very recent one, oh, total. I took only one loan. That is 50,000. <coughs> Um, when did you take the loan? 2021. Did you pay the loan? Yes. Well, bring us the evidence that you have paid the loan. 
Okay. Please write it down so that you will not forget. Mr. Gay, give the witness um, a paper to write down what we are requesting her to bring. Uh, which uh, medical insurance does the council pay for you? <laughs> Never. They don't, you don't have oh, no. insurance, medical insurance cover? No. What grade level are you? What is your grade? I, I stop at grade 12. No, no, no. Your grade, your, your salary grade. Salary, salary. What grade level? Are you grade 2, 3, 4, 5? So I should call it here. <laughs> Pardon? I said I should call it here. Yes. We are asking you your grade uh, level. Okay, okay, okay. That's not grade 3. Grade 3. Which banks do you bank with? Uh, Reliance. You have any other bank, uh, other, any other bank apart from Reliance? No, no. What do you have at uh, Reliance? Is it a salary account or? Yes, salary, account? salary account. That's the only account you have? Oh, yes. Thank you. Can you please uh, yes. uh, ask the, the witness to bring the, her team number and her account number? Please, um, Ms. Denver? Yes. Can you produce your team number and your, your account details, please? Okay, no problem. And this cash book is from 2018? Is that, is that correct? Yes. And the last entry date? Is it this year or last year? 2022? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Where, where is your, your, your entries for or after this period? No, it's there. Just go. <coughs> the last receipt I've seen here is 2022. That's why I asked. Okay, you need the 2023 and 2024? Yes. Okay. Yes? I, I, I will bring it. C can you write that down, please? Okay. We apply to tender the... 23, the, 24. The cash book of the witness from the year 2018 to 2022 into evidence as an exhibit. It's a team number, right? And your bank details and your cash book from 2022 yes, to date. Yeah. And this you should bring by tomorrow. Do you understand that? Yes. Thank you. The cash book maintained by <coughs> um, the witness Fatu Damfa uh, covering the period 2018 to 2022 is hereby admitted in evidence and marked as LGC slash FD slash BKAC slash 002. As the commission places. We will show you um, another statement that, that you gave to the investigators. 
Please go through it. Yes. <coughs> did, did you sign that statement? Yes. We apply to tender the additional statement of the witness, Fatu Damfa, dated the 21st of March 2024, into evidence as an exhibit. The witness statement dated the um, 21st of March 2024 is hereby admitted in evidence and marked as LGC slash FD slash BKAC slash 003. As the commission places. Now, you have said in, in your second or additional statement that you have paid the, the amount. Yes. <coughs> when was this? I, I think it was 25th. It was last week. Last week? Yes. Why did you pay this amount last week? Because uh, they told me it was the week before last they called me. Who? The investigation team. They told you what? Let me come. Then when I come, and they told me the exactly amount. And they told you what? <coughs> That's the amount they told me that I need to pay. It. Now, um, when you go before the the um, the inter internal auditor yes. to conduct uh, your reconciliation or your submission, yes, will they conduct an audit? Yes. You will go with your cash book. Yes. And they will show you your, your collection from the from the screen, the print out. Yes, but this 2019, we are not using the machine. I understand. I, I, I am okay. done with 2019 now. I'm just asking, okay. when you now go from 2020 upwards, yes. Yes. and you're, you are doing, or you're conducting the reconciliation, or your submission from your... Yes, very basis, yes. Yes, they will audit your, your books of account, your, your cash book. Yes. And then they, they will already have the printout from the IT. Yes. And the printout will show exactly how much you have collected? Yes. Now, are there times that you will be absent from, from the, uh, you will be absent that you will not go for this submission? No. Let me get your answer, please. I said no. You have always been present? Yeah, most of the time. Because I remember there is a time I fall down, my leg have a problem. Then I could not make it on Thursday, but I went on the next day to submit. Now, will you sign this, this lodgement log, that the, they call it, when, when you go um, to, to conduct your audit for, at the end of the week? Yes, like when I, when I went for submission, the sign is slipped. Yes. Yes, I do. We have the, the lodgement log for the period 24th February to 22nd of March 2022 for the week. Do you follow? Yes. And your name appears um, that from the, from the 24th yes. of February to the 2nd of March, yes. that there was a collection of 62,000 dollars, but you were, not, you were not present for the post of auditing. This is in 2022. 2022. Yes. No, I could not recall. You cannot recall no. because you, were not, you, you did not appear um, to be audited. That's Do you understand it? Yes. You did not appear to be audited. Can you now no. show us in, you, in your cash book the collection for this period? Yeah, that's not a problem. I know I put it in my cash book. If it is 2020, I think you said 2022 is not here. Yes. That's not a problem. I can bring that one. Okay. Let yeah. me now show you another one. Okay. We also have another one in September where you had a balance of um, $250. Dollars. 
but there was also another one where there was, there was a balance of about $25,000. There was no submission of that amount. From which date? The date is 12th of May 2022 to the 18th. $25,000. Uh -huh. You did not go for submission. That's not a problem. I bring the cash book. You're, but why did you not go for submission? No. I, I will not sit, not, I, will, I will not take each amount and not go for a submission. We have seen you have an outstanding balance of $33,000 as far as you are concerned, even though the report says $35,000. Yeah, that's under me. Under, 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 okay. That is what? Under, under lodgement page, which I accept. But yes. I collect the whole week, I did not go for submission. But if you can do this, why, why, why would we not believe that you can go, not go for no, submission? There are two different things. Will, will, you not sign, will you not sign these documents? I will produce it. That's not no, will problem. you not sign the lodgement log when, when you go for submissions? Do I you not sign it? I normally sign it. That's nothing like normally sign it. You will sign the lodgement log. Yes, I will sign exactly. it. Exactly. All revenue collectors, they will sign the lodgement log. Let yes. me show you. Yes. Let me show you this, this amount. That also is 2022. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. That, that, that is only a sample. You have many instances where, where you were absent for, from audit. Have you seen that? Yes. Will you not normally sign if you appear? Yes, I will normally. As I said, you know, sometimes if you go to <coughs> submission from the bank, let's say if you, if you don't submit on Thursday, maybe if you went the second day, you submit. If you don't find them, you cannot sign this thing. But then you will have to go back. Any questions? Sir? Yeah, it, it could be, yeah. You, you, you'll have to go back. So if you don't sign it, probably this week, you'll have to sign it the upper week. That's not a problem. This one, I will produce it. It's, it's a problem because you have to tell us where, whether you have deposited the money into the account or not. I have already deposited. You have what? I have already deposited. I will bring the, how to call it, the, 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 the slip or the, the, the paper they give me for after the submission, yes. the receipt. Yes, That's but not a problem. thank you. We also would need you to tell us which account you have deposited this money into. We normally deposit at EcoBank. Just Echo Bank. Yes. You only use Echo Bank. Echo Bank. Yes. And if you were to give you the 2022, you 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 are sure you you will find Echo Bank. Account. May I never submit in any other banks except Echo Bank. Do we have the Echo Bank account for 2022? And Mr. Far as well, before um, you, you receive the account, there are times that you will just go and appear before the, the cashier, but you will not be audited. Why is that? You were given a, a receipt of $62,000 in, in November 2022. Why is that? Why would you not be audited? With date? Sorry. November 10th. November 10th, 2022. Yes. And there was no audit of this amount. So we don't know whether you, you collected more or you collected less. 2020, you know we were using this machine. Yes. That's why you have to go and appear before the audit. So they will know what you declare in the, in, 
in, um, what you have deposited and what you wrote on your cash book will tally or will be the same with what appears on the screen. You know these things. Okay, I will bring that. No, 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 no. Just answer. You know these things. The the cash book is here. Twenty twenty two. Yes. Okay. For no, for no, no, November. I thought you were saying this, this book is not let, 2020. Let me confirm whether uh -huh. this, in fact, is. You are, you are, you are Fafaru Damfa, is, is that correct? Yes. Yes, I, I see receipts for 2022. Yes. I, 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 I beg your pardon. Uh -huh. Chapa, I see that the, the, the cash book ends in 2022, in fact. Uh -huh. Yes. The, uh, the reference number to the exhibit. The exhibit number is, can I be guided, Council? The cash book reference number. Cash book. 002. <coughs> um, Council? Can you, yes, can you please make the application? We apply that the Exhibit 002 be amended. The, it ends in, yes. in the year 2022. Um, the Exhibit 2 would now read LGC slash FD slash BKAC slash 002 covering period 2018 to 2022. As the commission places. As amended. As the commission places. We are grateful. Now, Please tell us, have you seen that in the, in the bank statement? And, and can I please have that lodgment log, please? That is what, 20 seconds, huh? It should be 17th of February 2022, 3rd of February 2022. The lodgement log indicates that you have collected $79,500. $79,500. Can I have the cash book? Yes. Uh, let me show you the, the, the cash book because the cash book indicates that what you recorded is less than that and it was not even audited. What you recorded from the 13th. Yes. Yes.
How much you said was the account? The amount, sorry. $79,500. Yes, yeah. Let me see. $79,500. Yes, yeah. Sir. Were you audited? Yes. It's seventy-nine. It's seventy-nine thousand five hundred. Sixty-nine thousand five hundred. How much? Sixty-nine thousand five hundred. Yes. Can you clarify, Council? I'm hearing her say sixty-nine thousand, and uh -huh. you are saying seventy-nine thousand. Thank you. The amount in the lodgement log. Let me show you. Is seventy-nine thousand five hundred dollars between or from the period or date 17th of February 2022 mm -hmm. to the 23rd of Feb February 2022. Yes. It is that week. You have to look at. Yes, I saw it. How much? It's 69,500. But, it, but, but it is short. It is less than what is stated in the, in the, um, the what was generated from your collection, the machine. That's one. And then number two, were you in fact audited? Yes, I was audited. Let me see. Look. Yes, you have... $69,500 is yes. the 23rd of February 2022. You were issued with a receipt number 0038071 trade license. Is that correct? Is that yes. correct? Yes. And the date is 24th of February 2022. In fact, you went a day, day after your Yes, that's what I said. Normally, if you are sick, you can make it next day. Yes. Oh, yes. And the second issue is you are not audited. I was audited. Check the red pen there. Which red pen? You are not audited because this amount is short. The red pen is on the for about seven thousand dollars. Yes, for the max. Yes, but the amount is short for with respect to what, what is in the logman logman log. Is that not, not correct? Yes. And why is that? As I explained, that's the amount I paid recently. You paid recently? Yes. Now, where's the balance? Which balance? Sorry, can I, yeah. can I yes, comment? Yes, yes. Uh, Mrs. Danfa, it cannot be the amount you paid recently. Because what is contained in your statement Yes. These are audit queries in 2019 and in 2021. So it cannot be what is contained in this lodgement, which is in 2022. Yes. Then I was not aware of that. You were not aware of No, no, no. And that 69,000, did you deposit the 69,000 to the EcoBank account? Yes, we normally deposit there. No, no. Did you deposit the 69,000 that you said you were issued receipt with? Yes. Which is in your cash vault yes. at the Econ Bank account. Yes, yes. So when we look at that date of that receipt, mm -hmm. we will see it in the Econ Bank account. That's yes. 69,000. We will see it in the Econ Bank account. Yes, I believe. As you far to Dunford depositing the amount. Yes. Please give her the Econ Bank account. It's 24, right? Council, can you assist, please? Is it 24th? 23rd. They are in the submission day. Yes, it's um. 24th. Yes, 23rd. But but you you went to you went uh, before the cash on the 24th. 24th. You were not audited for on, on, for the for the week. Council, can you guide her as to the date of the receipt that is issued by the Brikama Area Council? 24th. 24th. 24th, yes.
You made a, a deposit of fifty thousand dollars on the twenty fourth of February, twenty twenty two. Let Let me show you in a, another Ecobank account. And that is less than the, the amount you have collected as per the records. Yes, I saw it. What did you see? 50,500. Yes. So your your deposit for for the for, for for the period was that amount. But the lodgement log indicates that your your collection was more than that. In 2022. Again, why would you not go for, or why would you not appear and be audited if you are making payments? Yes, sir? Yes, ma'am? Well, I think I was audited, oh. You were? I was audited. Check the date there, the 24th. You were not. I had told you you were not, not audit, audited. Because the balance is... Clear. I had told you if you were audited, you would have signed the lodgement log. Is that not the case? As I said, for instance, if I didn't go for submission on Thursdays, yes. then Friday, if I took the money to the bank, normally, if I didn't find them there, I would go to the principal cashier so that he can give me the receipt. That's what I'm saying. That is not audit. Huh? Is, that, is that what you call audit? But I went to the auditor. She didn't see the red pen there. You went for the? You went to the? I said, but well, I went for the audit, audit department. Yes, but you, uh, you were before the cashier and you were given a receipt. Yes, but I went to audit also because as far as you saw the red pen there, unless now, maybe I don't sign, I did not sign the, how to call it, the submission list. Now, um, can, can we have that, 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 that bank? Let me just ask. Mm -hmm. huh? Mrs. Danfa, yes. um, you have indicated that the receipt, the receipt from Bricama Area Council is saying 69,000. That is what you have gone to deposit. But what you deposited mm -hmm. actually yeah. is less than 69,000. And your, the lodgement log is saying 79,000. So how do you reconcile all of this? And that is why the council is insisting that you did not go for auditing. Because if you went to auditing, they will see your deposit slip before they issue you with the receipts. So this receipt is false. Is that not correct? I cannot call it false because I went to the principal cashier. He's the one who gave it to me. I cannot call it but as false. Yes, but how much did you, did you deposit in the bank? Is it the same as the receipt he gave you, 69,000? Is it the same? No. So, is it not then false? I cannot call it false. You cannot call it false? Because... But then, now, let me use another language. <laughs> so, is it fraudulent for your, the cashier to have given you a receipt of 69 when you actually deposited 50 plus Madam Danfa, answer the question. 
Because obviously one of you is not telling the truth. It's either you are not telling the truth or the cashier is fraudulent for issuing you a receipt that you did not deposit in the bank. Is that not, this, is that not the, the situation? <coughs> The situation, I know I have deposited the money. It may be also... No, no, no. You deposited the money. You said you deposited in Echo Bank. And we have showed you your deposit at the Echo Bank. It's 50000 yes. something. Yes. And the receipt that the cashier gave you is 69000 We understand all the receipts that the treasurers are giving you are false and are fraudulent. They are not correct. Because when we go to the records, we find different amounts being deposited by collectors. So in this case, what is the true version? Can you tell us? That one I cannot explain. Unless, <coughs> let me go to, let me, if I go to the office, maybe I can find where I have Okay, we will sleep. call you back. Thank you. Can I you have another okay. sleep there. Yes. Uh, yeah. Miss Dafa, we will ask that you, you come back on Tuesday. Okay. You understand? Yes. Thank you. It's, Thank it's you. one o'clock. We may rise.